students, this is Sundar Ravindranathan here. How are you guys? Awesome? Great, great, great. So welcome to another video, yet another video of this summer camp. And this video is going to speak about, uh, you know, uh, a very, very important aspect. And before that, let me introduce that to you. There is something in this world which is given to all of us in equal amounts. Whether we are rich, whether we are poor, whether we are healthy, whether we are sick. That is something that is given to all of us by God in equal amounts. What is that? Time. Yeah. So time is something that is given to everyone equally without no partiality by God. But very, very badly misused. You got it? Right. So now. What am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about five tips which will help you manage your time better. Can you really manage your time? Yeah. So today is I have 24 hours. No, I tomorrow I have a lot of work. So I need 30 hours. Is that really possible? That's managing time. That's not really possible. What is time management? Time management means by this what we when we say manage your time better is Manage yourself better within the given framework of time. What is that framework? All of us have the same 24 hours. So you need to know how to manage yourself within the given framework of time. And for that, I'm going to give you five very important tips. Stay tuned, be ready, all geared and gunned. Okay. Wow. All right. So guys, uh, my dear students, I hope all of you are already subscribed to Vedantu. Young Wonders, if you have not, Please hit the subscribe button right away. We need your support and also remember to enable this bell icon so that we are able to send notifications on every single day's videos that we are posting in the channel. Getting it? Right. Have you done it? Awesome guys. Awesome. So the first step towards first tip towards effective time management is first you need to know how you are spending your time. Right? If there is a shop, any shop for that matter, often they take an inventory of how much stock, what is there in the shop to sell. So you need to know for managing your time better, how much time do you have and how are you spending it? That is called a time inventory. So taking a time inventory matters a lot. What is time inventory? From the time you get up, you wake up, right? Till the time you go back to bed in the night. Every slot of 30 minutes, all right, you have to list down like this. Morning 6, so assume that 6 o'clock is when I wake up, all right, and 6 to 6.30 is the first slot. What am I doing? 6.30 to 7, 7 to 7.30, 8 to 8.30, like this till night, 10.30 to 11. You getting it? This entire list, once you have prepared very carefully after analyzing every day of yours, this is called your time inventory. Okay, sir, if I take a time inventory, how, how is that going to help me manage my time better? You will be able to do that because taking a time inventory, all right, will help you identify something very, very critical. What is that? It will help you identify something called as time wasters. You will find the time wasters are few slots few slots here and there you will find in your day where you will find that you are not spending time which is helping you become better okay it is not helping you relax it is not helping you learn it's not helping you enjoy it's just unproductive time sitting in front of the tv for a long time it's a time waster watching it for half an hour it's okay but anything you know for a longer period of time you you're wasting your time Mobile. Using a mobile for a very short period of time, it's okay. But sitting in your mobile for a long period of time, time waster. You getting it, guys? So, once you take a time inventory, start doing it immediately. List down. Once this video is over, take a sheet of paper, create your time inventory. Pull down the, your entire routine into it. And then find out how many slots of time wasters do you have. 
that will tell you oh my god i have two three four hours of extra time which i can use properly for something yeah that is how it is guys got it awesome so taking a time inventory is a, the first milestone which will help you become a, a good person a better person with time number two task prioritization before you know what uh, before i speak about it i want to tell you guys a very short crisp story interesting okay i'm sure you would love to hear this see there was a professor the professor wanted to he entered the class with a, a jar and something in his hand he kept the jar in front of his table right and filled the jar with this big rocks filled the glass jar fully and then he asked the students my dear students do you see that the jar is full the students looked at the jar and said yes sir the jar is full you know what he did he took small small pebbles shiny slippery stones right pebbles and started pouring them into the jar the pebbles occupied the gaps in between all the huge rocks and he said my dear students now tell me is the jar full the students started thinking we earlier said the jar was full now he is filled with pebbles anyhow now it is really full the gaps have been closed sir the jar is full okay great he took a handful of sand poured into it the sand occupied all the gaps in between the pebbles now the you know professor looked at the students into their eyes the student said sir now we don't know you yourself tell us the professor took a half you know half a glass of water poured onto it the sand absorbed all the water the students were speechless the professor said okay now tell me what do you infer what do you understand what do you learn from this illustration all right so now the students started thinking what it could be they said sir doesn't matter all right any point in time when we say we don't have time we don't have time right we can always find time that is the inference professor said that's quite a good one however that is not the right one the right inference is if you need to put the pebbles the sand and water into the jar first you need to learn to put the huge rocks first huge rocks are your priorities in life anything that you do just all right understand or try and realize or find out if it's your priority that is called task prioritization <clears throat> there are only three kinds of jobs in this world a job which you only you as a student can do like writing an exam studying for yourself job number b category b is something which it's important for you but even you can give it to someone job category c it is not essential that you need to do it all right you can always give it to someone else it's not even important for you but the job needs to be completed okay so understand whether it is any job that you do whether it is job category a b or c focus more on job a i hope you are understand something that you and only you need to do is your highest priority you getting it my dear students this is a lesson for life trust me awesome now assertiveness what is assertiveness you see something in an image right what do you want aggressive what others want passive all right in between there is something called assertive okay do this right is aggressive right do you want me to do this is passive okay can you please help me get this done can you please do this is assertiveness number 2 if i have to define assertiveness assertiveness is all about saying yes when you want to say yes saying no when you want to say no your best friend you're sitting and studying i'll give you an example your best friend is coming and saying hey you know what there is a nearby there is a match that is being played all right let's come let's go and let's go and watch you are studying okay just because your friend came and asked you don't want him to feel bad by saying no and you say 
uh, okay let's go and you close your book and go that's passive all right instead you say can't you see don't you have any sense can't you see that i'm reading okay move from this place here that's aggression instead if you say oh yeah i would love to but the problem is i just started i need to complete this before coming all right if you can wait nothing like it can you help me or i'll do one thing once i am done with this chapter i'll give you a call let's meet and go and watch that is you have said no you have proved your point but you didn't make an enemy at the other side aggressiveness will always create an enemy at the other side so this is called assertiveness now tell me how is assertiveness going to save you time assume that if you have said uh, yes let's go your time is gone for studies academics right you saved your time and you spent that time for academics which is your priority by being assertive you getting it my dear student that's called assertiveness task delegation okay i was speaking when when it comes to prioritization i was speaking about three job categories something that you need to do which is job a something that it's important for you however you don't need to do job b right job b comes here anything that you do find out the right person who can do it if the job is important for you but it's not that only you need to do it find a person who can do it for you give it to them and just monitor if they are doing it just ensure its completion alone okay you will find there are a lot of jobs in your day to day life which will fall under this category and that will save a lot of time because if you do it you're going to spend time on that right so when you stop doing it delegate it to someone else you are saving that time last not the least goal awareness my dear students at this age okay we have as an individual have a vision and a mission statement for you what is your vision what do you want as the purpose of your life by the time you are 70 or 80 all right and how do you want to reach there that's your mission what is your purpose of your life by the time you are 60 70 or 80 that's your vision are you getting me vision is your long term goal the ultimate purpose of your life which you are foreseeing mission is the route that you take to achieve your vision how do you want so once you have once you are clear about this vision and mission which are nothing but your short term and longer term goals you will there will something magical that will happen to you anything that you do just think about is it going to help my goal right anything that you do okay think about whether it is it, is it going to help you achieve your goal when you do it you will find that you will start doing only you know your behavior will get a lot refined because you will start doing things which is going to help on your goal alone that will save you time because you will stop doing a lot of things okay that is why goal awareness all the time matters a lot okay i hope you in case you guys have some doubts or queries you can always ping me or type in the comments box also guys right so i hope you are clear what is your vision what is your mission write down write down what's your vision of life individually for you as an individual what's your mission both and then keep thinking keep this fixed in your mind both your vision and mission statements anything you do related is it going to help me do it if it is not don't do it and that's how you save more time ha ha i think i have given you what five very interesting tips to manage your time to get more time manage your time better to become a better person right guys <sighs> hope you really like this video i loved teaching this to all of you trust me uh please subscribe once again subscribe to vedant young wonders guys and i hope you like the video hit the like button and let us know that you really liked it and support us by subscribing to the channel lovely guys lovely it was amazing interacting with all you guys thank you so much for your time until i meet you in the next video this is myself sundar rabindranath and signing off guys have a great vacation rock and roll guys bye bye